the middle. <laughs> Not too bad. Hey yo, what is up guys? Welcome back. As you can see, out here doing a little bit of ice camping and today should be pretty good. We had a little bit of cold streak going on. Yesterday was real nice, about 35 degrees. Today is about 35 degrees also. As you can see, the sun is shining. Fish should be moving and it should be a pretty good day. So we do have the underwater camera. We do have the pan optics. The water visibility should be pretty good. So we should be able to utilize the uh, underwater camera. I haven't had much warm days with a lot of runoff up till now so we got the best of both worlds we got thick ice thick enough ice to sleep on and we have a good warm day that the fish should be cruising so got some tip ups and stuff we are going to cook a tasty meal home away from home on the ice yeah <laughs> Okay, okay. Get the pan optics going. Let's see what's down there. Should be about perfect on the right spot. I do want to say a huge shout out. This is a huge game changer. The uh, Summit brand pole. Um, they do have a shuttle also. I uh, haven't set that up yet. But this pole is a game changer, especially when you go up north or something and you got real thick ice. You're carrying around a pole that's four and a half foot long. This one, boom, boom, collapses, extends. Don't have to carry around a five foot pole. So a huge shout out to them. I will drop their link down below. Um, they have a couple cool things like the shuttle and all that. Holds the battery, even has USBs. So that was a huge game changer when we were just up north. Get that working. Seven feet of water. You got fish cruising down there. Mm -hmm. All right, this is the one I'm gonna use, but it has a plastic on it. You can probably drop down and attract those fish. God, there's three of them. That's their finicky blue gill. Try this. All right, we got set up. We have a couple fish coming through. Um, it's kind of crazy out here. You drill a hole and it attracts the fish. We had some fish coming through. I'm gonna record on the pan optics and the underwater camera, so we should get some cool eats for y'all. And uh, should be a pretty cool one out here today. Got him. Oh, well. All right, first fish is a doink. Well, at least they're fired up and they're active. Oh, they're coming in now. You got another one coming through. Oh my wow. God. Wow, biggins only. <laughs> oh my gosh. Big boys only. <laughs> That's kind of impressive. Got everything set up, caught a fish each. Now we can get comfy. You have some different assortments of beers too that we're gonna try. You got some weird ones, didn't you? I did. Check out the new ice sponsor of the year, the Old Nordic Legends. Warmest bibs I've ever had. They have a jacket that comes along with it. Super affordable and a great quality. Same with the shack. This is a giant, giant shack. And uh, it's actually really reasonably priced. I think it's like 600 bucks for the giant one. Something like that. Got a lot of room for activities in this bad boy, so. Oh yeah. A little bit bigger gill. Not super bad, but not a giant that we're after. See if we can get two real big ones today. Oh, you got one shooting up to you. Oh. <laughs> that was a big fish. Stuff on them. All right. I'm gonna set a minnow down this hole. Just kind of dead stick it. Kind of like a set line. We go around the bottom, give it a two cranks, and make a nice little redneck rod holder. All right, minnow set. I'm gonna go set up some tip-ups. I have two cat tip-ups and one minnow tip-up. Good luck in there, Sash. Thanks. 
actually going to do two minnow ones and one cat one. Here's the bottom. Make sure I have no moss. I'm hitting the bottom. Alright. And first one is set. Number two. Alright, number two. And number three. A little bit more ice over here. And I think she just got one. Because I heard her yell. <laughs> This one, we're actually going to use a little piece of filleted fish. I'm going to hold it and make sure we got no moss down there. Oh, no moss. We're good to drop it back down. Give it a go. If this one goes, should be a good cat. There you go. Still have my waxy. Is a decent one? Yeah, it was pretty decent. Alright, well, we got the tip ups all set. One cat, two minnow. I'm gonna drop the underwater camera down, see if we can get some underwater footage for it, because that's pretty cool. Ooh, don't scare them all. Pull one to shot up to you. Up to you. Good one. Not a bad one. He's hot and heavy. Well, this one just came screaming up to me. Oh, there he comes. <laughs> that one had no hesitation. That's a Ooh, good one. That's a good one. Big old bluegill. Well, not huge, probably eight inches. A little bluegill are fired up. Not a bad bluegill, about eight inches. <laughs> I'm just gonna dead stick this if something hits it. That's all you, Sash. All right, I'm gonna drill another hole right here, see if we can get the underwater camera down, because as you can see right here, it's not great visibility and barely see the bottom of my deucer, but we're gonna try it for y'all. All right, I'm gonna drop the underwater camera down here. We got quite a bit of vegetation down there, actually. Right above the weeds. Got a little bluegill. Cool though, he came up hot. Thank you, bud. Little guy. All right, we got the underwater camera going. I like the underwater camera because you can kind of see how the fish react to it. You can see them coming in, and you know uh, if it's a real finicky bite, you know when they have bait in their mouth. She went and got the make your own six pack. You know what? We'll just see what y'all got. First one. S'mores. S'mores. Give me s'more, vanilla brown ale. That actually sounds kind of good. This one, we got. Okay. Oh. This feels. Always oh, wrapped in mine. I bet. Oh, bigger bluegill. Oh, no, I got a fish. Oh, oh no, it's wrapped in here. <laughs> Sorry. He has both of ours. Did he eat both? Yeah. Okay, he's All right. hungry. Yeah, he was. Oh, good catch, Sasha. Yeah, too. <laughs> All right. Raspberry jalapeno ale. Chocolate raspberry porter. Fruit punch IPA. Honestly, these are all kind of cool. We're going to try all these and let you know what we think. Give her a go. All right, give her a whirl. It's good. Good? It's not bad. Yeah, wait for fish to come in, check the tip-ups, and I'll flag. That being said, we're gonna kick back, relax, hopefully get some fish on the underwater camera, get some underwater footage for you. Got the tip-ups out, we're gonna cook a good meal. We got it all day. Waiting on some bacon. All right, so we kept having fish come from this way and stop at 10 feet. I put a tip-up right outside the shack. We have the transducer going down this hole 
facing this way. So that is my minnow right there outside the shack. It's kind of cool because we can see it on the fan optics from sitting inside. Or if fish are coming up. Oh, oh, that dude darted up to you. Oh, big gill, real big gill. Oh, there's another one down there. He's coming up to it. Oh, there's a whole school of them down there. Hold that one for a sec. But I just drilled that, oh my gosh. Look at them all. They're all staring at it. Good boy, come on. Come on, what the heck? They shot up to yours and they all came coming in. Yeah, that's a good gill. Oh my gosh, he did inhale it. Fishing with two rods over here, Sash. Mm -hmm. Not quite as big as I thought, but I bet he's over eight. He's Got an eight inch hole. Oh yeah, he's almost nine inch gill. But like I was saying, it's kind of cool. You can set a tip up outside the shack. Yeah, there we go, good boy. Come on. Oh, we kissed it. No, don't back up. All right, well, I've had it with these fish. I'm gonna take the fan optics. I'm gonna go bounce around right here where all these fish are circling. I don't know why they're not hitting the minnow. Ooh, two of them. Oh, I had him. You robbed me. Bigger fish. Oh, no, well, bigger bluegill. Not a bad bluegill, honestly, but eight and a half. The bluegills literally just come in and then they stare at it. Starting to get frustrated. There's a real big one right here. Got him. Ooh. Big old gill. Eight inch hole. Nine inch bluegill or so. Oh. It's because I had one. There's some big ones rolling through. That's a good gill. But... What is Panoptics doing here? It's clearly not moving. Garmin, what the heck? What the heck is going on? This thing is broke. I, if, if you guys know what's going on, drop a comment down below because I am mind boggled. Wow. There you go, be free, you monster. <laughs> I'm done with this hole. Both sides? No fish? Zero. All bluegill. We're really slaying the bluegill, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. I like that. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, well, it's getting that time. We got the little uh, collapsible grill down here. We're gonna whip up a meal. Sash, what you making? Uh, teriyaki with a stir fry. <laughs> teriyaki stir fry. <laughs> <laughs> My brain isn't working today. Either other fish, that's all right. <laughs> The old teriyaki stir fry. It's gonna be pretty good. And rice. Oh yeah, we got rice too. <laughs> rice. <laughs> Whenever you're cooking in the tent, open the vents. All right. And I'm gonna sit over here and try to catch fish, even though it's got real, real slow. All right, as you can see, I turned the uh, LED on for the underwater camera. Got a Z-Viber down there now from Euro Tackle. It's, uh, you can light it up and glow it. So I'm gonna try it, we got the pan optics rolling. And for all of you guys that are wondering, it's just steak, vegetables, you can do any, type of vegetable you want really. Secret ingredient. Teriyaki sauce. 
and the rice. Whip it all together, make a nice meal down here. Hopefully the night bite picks up. Tip-ups haven't got touched all day. I'm gonna glow this puppy up. The old Z-Viber, gonna try to call in some fish with the old glow. Well, I guess all you got to do is start cooking. You smoked that minnow. Not a big crappie. Not tiny, but... Hey, we broke the bluegill streak, Sash. Woohoo! <laughs> you ruined my jam sesh. That was fun. Finally, the minnow got hit. What are you doing? There you go. <laughs> all right. Well, maybe it'll start picking up now. Who knows? Back down. Check these out. It's a bowl. A plate that goes into a bowl. Nice for storing and everything like that. We just washed them out. Yeah. How's the food looking? Tasty. Look at that. Got the rice, teriyaki sauce. Living good out here on the ice. Honestly, fishing hasn't been incredible. Crappie was kind of cool. The teriyaki sauce. Oh yeah. Well. I guess I go back to jamming out. Here you go. Ooh. You're served. Look at that. Give her a whirl. Get the rice. <laughs> I'm gonna throw some of that in there. You gonna try some too? I am. It's pretty good. That is bueno. Cheers. Seasoning's actually really good. Yeah, I'll give her a little dabble of hot sauce. If y'all haven't done the ice camping, you gotta try it sometime. Boy, bueno. Mm -hmm. All right, well, for now we're gonna sit back and enjoy and wait on some fish, listen to music. Tell ghost stories. No, <laughs> but if you guys haven't done the ice camping, definitely try it. It's nice and relaxing. Hopefully you guys catch more fish than we do. But we did talk about it. We're going to come back out here two weeks from now and we're going to get redemption. Because there is some big old quality fish in this lake. Yeah, right, we're going to record on pan optics a little bit. See if we can get a fish from there. Oh, here he is. He hit it. He should have gave me the yeet. I look down, it's like, oh my gosh, that's a giant mark. Oh, right under here, he's coming, he's screaming up to you. He's gonna do it. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh crappy. Not a super big guy, but. Is there any more down there? Golly, I wonder if that was the same one. Careful, those are sharp. Let's see this dude. I wonder if this was the same one. Wow, he's actually kind of small. Good work, Sash. Thanks. That was kind of cool. All right, later, bud. All right, well, maybe they'll start moving through. I don't, I doubt that was the same one because he came from the right side. All right, guys, well. We're gonna fish for about five more minutes, see if we can't get a last minute one. We're gonna clean up a little bit and we're gonna hit the hay. But all in all, still a fun day down here. And uh, we still caught some fish. Uh, did the underwater camera, it's kind of fun watching them come in. We caught some fish while I was outside the shack. Bounced around, caught some more bluegill. And uh, yeah, it wasn't all we were expecting for fish wise, but still a fun time. Ice camping, if you guys haven't tried it, it's definitely just Get away, come down, worry about nothing, besides catching bluegill in this matter, but um, it's a pretty good time, so might have to call her the old quits. Fat lady is officially singing. Bluegill Nation! And uh, hopefully you all enjoyed, so if you did, give it a thumbs up, don't forget that subscribe button. If anything miraculous happens, uh, we will click the camera on, but it's uh, looking like it's not, so with that being said, catch you on the next one. Have a good one. I thought you were out. <laughs>